Okay guys, so it's me Gaba this side. So as you can see, we have a huge array of surgical instruments in front of us. These are not the total number of instruments which we use in a surgery, but these are the instruments which are sufficient for doing a dissection. So we'll first start with the introduction video. So as you can see, I have arranged the instruments in a particular manner. So these one, these are called the mosquito uh, scissors. So these are also called the mosquito forceps. This one is called the tissue forcep, this one. Why this is called the tissue forcep? As you can see, it has tooth here. If you try and see that. So this is used for handling tissues. Then if you see these, these are called the medicine bone scissors. We will write their name here so that you can see that. These are in short called meds. And these one are called the scalpel. This is called the scalpel holder and this is called the scalpel. Okay. So this is the whole surgical instrument array which we are going to show you. So for the mosquito scissors or the mosquito forceps, as you can see, these mosquito forceps, they have an interlocking system. I will show you from this side. As you can see here, these are an interlocking system. So if I close them here, I can't open them unless and until I open the system. See. Okay. So this is called the mosquito scissors. The next one, which is the tissue one, is for handling the coarse things for taking out the things so this is the tissue forcep so as you can see again it has the tooth inside on the top so next one these are called the medicine bone so in the medicine bone you can see that there are two versions of the medicine bone this one is the straight version as you can see there is the beak is straight and this one is called the curved version because it is curved if you see like this okay so these all in all except for if I keep this aside all of these are called the ring instruments because we have the ring to hold it and where we keep our fingers and for these one why we call it the mosquito forcep because if I hold it like this it looks like a mosquito it's like the eyes of the mosquito and the uh, probonthus I think the, the mouth of the mosquito so if I'm correct write a yes if I'm wrong write a no down in the comment section so this is the one and for the last the scalpel part teach you how to hold a scalpel properly so as you can see when we hold a scalpel there are two ways to hold a scalpel first way is to hold the scalpel with like this and make sure that you don't keep the sharp side towards yourself and then keep the index finger on the blunt side and then you can make an incision like this so this is the one way of holding the scalpel as you can see so this gives more stability to your scalpel blade when you are doing an incision and the other way to hold a scalpel is like you are holding a pen so hold the scalpel and keep it like this so these are the two ways to hold a scalpel for making an incision so for the scalpel it is mostly used for doing a superficial cut and the medicine bond scissors which are the cutting instruments they are mostly used for doing the deeper cuts and for the medicine bone I would like to tell you one more thing that medicine bone scissors are used for doing two type of cuts one is the sharp cut one is the blunt cut so as you can see if I use this as a normal scissor so this can use, be used to do the sharp cuts but if I use it through the normal cut like this it will be able to do the blunt cuts also and for now for the holding of the scissor how to hold it you have to put the one thing one hole in your ring finger and the other one in your thumb so now you can see that it gives it more stability and more movability whereas if you put it like this see I can't move it that much properly and there is more pressure coming on my hand so the better way to use it is via the ring finger because then you can give it a stability by using your index finger so these are the two ways this is the actual the correct way to hold the scissors and if you want to know more about it you can comment me down in the comment section and I will let you know more about the instruments. So make sure to comment, like and subscribe to the channel guys. Thank you.